Hi, this is Eric with Tech Shop. Welcome to another edition of Tool Showcase. It's a safe bet if I say induction innovations, you're going to know who I'm talking about. Their mini ductor line has been popular with technicians for many years, but what we've got to check out today is the Inductor Max, one of their high power units. What do I mean when I say high power? I'm talking about a maximum output of over 2000 watts. For anyone that's not familiar, I'm going to touch on the operation of the inductor line of tools because I think this is really cool. They work off the principle of induction heating, which uses a high frequency alternating current to generate a reversing magnetic field. When a conductor is placed within that magnetic field, a current flow is then induced in the conductor and current flowing through resistance, in this case the resistance of the conductor, produces heat. Induction heating has the immediate advantage of eliminating the dangers of an open flame as well as its ability to provide an even consistent heat. So let's take a look at the Inductor Max. The main unit comes housed in this heavy duty case and it includes the U211 fast off pad, the U311 glass blaster, and the U411 concentrator as well as an instruction manual and two L wedges. As I mentioned, the Inductor Max has a maximum output of over 2000 watts and the unit itself features a power control knob and a power level meter. The concentrator will heat all types of hardware red hot within seconds and is also useful to remove body caulking, seam sealers, and hail dents. The glass blaster is designed to remove bonded glass metal bond adhesives, and even spraying on bed liners. The fast off pad works for removing stripes, vinyl graphics, body side moldings, sound pads, vapor barriers, and more. And check this out, it operates off 120 volts, and one of my favorite things, a foot operated switch. So we've got the tool, let's give it a try. I've plugged it in, and the first thing Induction Innovations recommends for safety is to check the operation of the ground fault interrupt switch. I'm going to push the test button and it popped out the reset, so we're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna try the concentrator. I've connected it to the power pack and I'm going to turn it on briefly with the foot switch. What I want to point out here is the audible beeping sound that indicates the unit is on. This is a really nice feature, letting you know it's on because if the end of your attachment is near a conductor, it's going to get hot real quick. Okay, I've got a bolt in the vise here, the power control set to the max setting, and I'm going to turn it on. Now I'm going to move the concentrator toward the bolt, but leaving about a 1 16th inch gap between the ceramic cloth and the bolt. And look at that, it's red hot within seconds. Now in most cases, you really don't need to get things red hot for them to release, making the process even quicker. But this is a cool video and red hot just looks good, right? So you've seen it in operation, the high powered inductor max. A final thing I'd like to point out is the instruction manual, which you can also download off their website, is very well written and it tells you how to use it for all different applications that it has. That in itself is a useful tool. If you'd like to know more about any of Induction Innovation's other professional automotive tools, visit theinductor.com. Don't forget to go to techshopmag.com for more tool showcase videos or subscribe to our YouTube channel and never miss a single one. Thanks for watching Tech Shop's Tool Showcase. I'll see you next time.